Hello YouTube, Master Spence I am back with my first Miami Hurricane uh, football video in a couple weeks I think it's been. Um, I'm gonna basically uh, run down, I've tried doing this video before, but I'm gonna try running down basically last week's visits, um, and then after this weekend's done, I'm gonna do a video covering this weekend's visits. So, if you want to stay tuned for that one, go follow me at, on Twitter at uh, Master Spence I Am, and you'll be able to find that one there. Um, right now, I'm just trying to pull up the visit list. Uh, I can go off the top of my head at first, because I know a couple people. But, uh, so last weekend, we got two commitments. Well, actually, one commitment, and one was on Thursday, I believe, before his visit started. And uh, the gentleman who committed... Uh, during the week before the weekend is Malik Young. It comes as no surprise that he's uh, he committed to us. A lot of people thought that would happen after he uh, after he decommitted from Georgia after Mark Rick left or was dismissed, however you want to think about it. Um, and uh, it it looked like a battle between us and possibly Ohio State. Um, I know he was he's visited a couple of other places also, which I'm trying to find right now. Um, but other than him, uh, we also got a receiver commitment from Latrell Williams. Um, he's a very, I wouldn't say underrated. I would just say he's not evaluated as much as some of the other players, like who are from South Florida or some of the big metropolitan areas where a lot of recruiting is done. But basically, uh, he right after he committed to us, ESPN evaluated him in he ended up being a four-star uh, wide receiver on ESPN. And stars aren't everything. You also want to watch his film and make it your own opinion, obviously. But uh, I do use the 247 Sports Composite ratings a lot to get an overall feel for them at first before I watch their uh, highlight tape because I feel – and I'm not saying that the recruiting sites are biased. I don't think that's the case. I think everyone has different opinions on the recruits out there, and obviously we're not all going to agree on them. But basically, uh, the 247 Sports Composite ranking uh, takes all the major recruiting sites, Scout, ESPN, uh, obviously 247 Sports also, Rivals, all of those, and it combines it to make one average ranking of all those rankings so that's why in my opinion that's the best site to use or that's the best rate, rating system to use is the composite rating system because it takes all the ratings into account and makes an average of it so if that's the rating that if you wanted to do ratings like four or five stars that's probably the best one to do it because it's going to take all of the opinions into account and form an average opinion on it or the or form a, not average opinion, it's just going to average all those together, and boom, you have the, not a consensus, consensus of opinion, but you have a more accepted opinion, so to speak, among the mass people out there. Um, now, that's this weekend. Oh, here's a cool little story I almost forgot about. Jeff James, who is the nephew, I believe, of Edron James, the Hall of Fame running back uh, that went to University of Miami in the 90s. He went out on Twitter and tweeted his commitment to us, but there was no bat signal, as everyone who's a big UM fan knows that there's always a bat signal uh, by at least one of the assistant coaches or George Baez, who's uh, in the personnel department, uh, to let us know that there's another commitment. So... A lot of people are confirming or rumors have started uh, that he wants to commit, but he's a second or third option. We haven't accepted that commitment yet because we're still waiting on other people, which I'm fine with, and hopefully Jeff James is fine with. But another uh, interesting rumor going out there is that our offensive lineman, redshirt freshman Joe Brown, is going to be transferring back to California to get back closer to home. I like his tweet. He said he's always going to be dedicated to the U forever, but he wants to play closer to home, which I wish him all the luck in the future. Good luck, Joe. Uh, if you're watching this, I doubt it, but good luck. Um, now, 
my biggest concern and a lot of other people's concerns is the defensive tackle position in this class is very, we don't have one committed and we only have two or three targets that we actually have a decent shot at landing. And one of those was on campus last weekend and no one, his name hadn't been brought up because no one really knew we were recruiting him. He was a surprise visitor, I guess you could say. Like there's a surprise visitor this weekend. If you guys haven't known, there's a lot of uh, defensive end on campus. I think his name is Isaiah Stewart, but I'm not 100% sure. But uh, you guys can look it up on State of the U. They did an article on, on the new surprise visitor this weekend. But this defensive tackle is from Louisiana. His name is Briston Goudry. I, I apologize if I mispronounce your name. But uh, he's ranked three stars. I haven't got a chance to look at his uh, highlight tape yet. But once I do, I'll uh, either tweet out my opinion or make a short video on it. Probably tweet, but... That's why if you guys haven't followed me already, go ahead and follow me on Twitter. Once again, it's uh, Master Spence I am. But he, uh, he, I, I wouldn't say he's an instant impact type of guy, but I, once again, I haven't seen his highlights. But usually, even a lot of the higher ranked people, I would prefer them to be uh, redshirted. For example, uh, I think Muhammad should have been redshirted, otherwise he would... He could be a sophomore right now, basically. So could have a bunch of the people on the defensive line, other than Muhammad. Uh, and also, I mean, if you think about it, unless they're an elite talent like Duke, Duke Johnson, even Stacy Coley could have been redshirted, I believe. But I, I understand him because we had a need that year at wide receiver. Um, and he was one of the most talented wide receivers coming to any college in the U.S. So I can understand why we played him. But other than that, I guess there wasn't a lot of information because that's all I'm seeing right now. But um, basically, we we picked up two commits, like I said. Other than that, it seemed like it went really well. Uh, oh, I almost forgot. Amon Richards visited last week. And as everyone knows, uh, he's one of our highest priorities right now as a wide receiver out of Wellington. Uh, he's 6'2", 180, I think. But... um. He was selected in the Arn under uh, the Army All America game, but he sat out due to injury. But uh, he, I, I wouldn't be shocked. And obviously, I'd prefer Sam Bruce to stay, but I wouldn't. I'm not hurt if he goes elsewhere. I'd rather have AR, which is Amon Richards, if you didn't know. I'd rather have Amon Richards in, in instead of Sam Bruce if that was if we could only get one. And I wouldn't be surprised if Sam Bruce went to Ohio State, but. I wouldn't be surprised if Amon Richards took Sam Bruce's spot and Sam Bruce went to Ohio State, and I'd be perfectly fine with that, honestly, because I think Amon Richards can make an early impact better than Sam Bruce. And honestly, I think we're fine at the slot position for the next year with Braxton Berrios and even Stacy Coley could play slot if need be, and even, uh, I'm, I'm sure there are a few guys escaping my mind, Malcolm Lewis could play slot if he gets a redshirt year awarded to him, which I'm not sure will happen. But uh, there are a bunch of players we have at wide receiver who can play slot. We just need the big-time wide receivers. Uh, and Amon Richards, in my opinion, is one of those. His highlights are amazing. His stats are amazing for a senior year. But I'm sorry, guys. I've been rambling on tangents for a while, but I'm just going to end this video right now. It's been almost nine minutes, but uh, thank you guys for watching. I know I've said this a lot, but it means a lot for everyone that watches my videos. Um, I hope I'm not boring. I hope you can watch my videos and get through it without <laughs> snoring. Um, but uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, comment below. Let me know who your top prospect is that you're waiting to see what happens with this recruiting season. And let's talk about it. Other than that, follow me on Twitter, like I've said, this video, Master Spence I Am. Thank you guys so much for watching. It means a lot. Other than that, I am out. I will see you guys soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.